G'day everyone, it's Brad from DG Air and this is Richard Cook. G'day everyone, Richard from RPA, I'm the Operations Manager. Hi, my name is Alex, um, I'm one of the hazmat engineer with RPA. So the transport index is key for determining what the level of hazard is for a driver, anyone involved in the transportation of the package, as well as members of the public. And one of the key readings we're taking is the dose rate one meter away from the specific object that we're measuring, in this case, a UN rated drum. The reading is taken one meters away and is typically done in the micro sieverts per hour unit. Using our tape measure, we measure one meters away from the external surface of the drum. We place our monitoring device at the one meter mark and then we take a reading in micro sieverts per hour. In this case, we're using the uh, T407 unit combined with a scintillation detector here. And the idea is to look for the, the maximum reading at one meters away from the surface. Um, the important thing is to make sure you're away from any other forms of interference when taking this particular reading. And in this case, our dose rate one meter away from the surface of the drum at this orientation is 0.55 micro sieverts per hour. And we will do a, a perimeter walk around the outside of that one meter to confirm that this is the maximum value that we are going to read. And you can see it on the screen there. And as you can see, as we move the monitor around, even just a little bit, it will actually start to, to change. And as you move further away from the item, it goes to less and less. So if Alex follows me over here, we will keep our monitoring device at the one meter mark and we will monitor and see if we can find a point that is greater than our original reading of 0.55. And the idea is to stop at a few occasions because these monitors, they don't update instantaneously. One has to wait a moment for them to update and get a new reading. And typically what I'll do when taking the readings is try and get at least the four cardinal points for our readings. And over there, we've currently got 0.5 1.46, so a little bit less at this orientation. And we can come around to the other side and see what we've got over here. And that drop could simply be an indication of where some of the more hot materials are inside the drum. It might be over to our original starting location. And we come back around. And we're sitting about that 0 0.5, 0 0.7, 0 0.6. Now, we've got 0.55 to 0.6 as our dose rate in micro sieverts per hour. To get the transport index, what we will do is divide that value by 10 and round up. So 0.6 micro sieverts per hour divided by 10 is 0.06. We round up to 0.1. On side, the, beside the drum, you'll have uh, two stickers. We have UN2913, which is for surface contaminated objects inside the drum as well as the radioactive um, sticker. It has two bars and as a radioactive yellow two, which means the transport index is between 0 0.1 and one itself, which is what we will write in the box just there. And we will fill out the contents information and an activity estimation for this drum also on the uh, side of the drum. And that's how we do transport index.